Hello everybody, welcome back. We are so glad you guys are here hanging out with us today. Today is the big day. We are going to announce how many golf balls we found yesterday while we were at the pond. Clay's been over here counting them and we're down to the last few balls. So, Clay, tell us how many balls are in that tote. So this, is 280, 281, 282, 283, 284, and at last, 285 golf balls. That was quite the golf ball find uh, the other day, so more than I thought there was gonna be. 285 golf balls. Holy so, cow. if you guys guessed 285 or anywhere close, you could win 100 bucks. So we're gonna go with the person that is the closest within five of 285. You will be the winner. We will contact you on Instagram. Make sure you're following us on Instagram so you don't miss more fun giveaways like this one. Claire and Carmen have just walked in from school. Austin and Owen did school from home today because the juniors at the high school were doing the ACT, and so it was an online learning day for Austin and Owen. Claire and Carmen, I'm going to ask them, how many golf balls do you guys think that we found? What's your guess? So dad counted them all while you guys were at school. You guys are just being a little lazy. I'm guessing 240. 240? What's your guess, Claire? Two, 13. 213? Okay. Mm -hmm. The total amount of golf balls that we collected the other day was 285 balls. Holy really? Crap. That's <laughs> a lot. It's a lot, and there were still so many more down there to collect. But I won. But you won? Yeah, because I beat Claire. I was closer to 85 than you. You were closer, that's true. I won! If we were doing a family contest, you would have won. Me? Yep. Well, no, because Dad could have guessed like 250 or something. That's true, I guess. So between you and Claire, you won. Yeah. Okay, how was school today, guys? Good. Good. Did you do anything fun or exciting? I did. What'd you do? So yesterday we built cars. You built cars? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I remember that. So, so how did you do that? Solar panel cars, no. They're wind, they're sail cars. And so you take two whole plates, they're like, that big, they're uh -huh. like, and then you like screw four screws and then you screw them together, and then you take like wooden sticks and you stick them through there. And there's the yellow things that stop them from like just sliding up and down. And you put those on, right? Yeah, I think that's actually what we did. And then you tape like paper onto it, mm -hmm. and that's your sail. And then to make the cards, you take it one more one thing and you like cut it with. Tweezers, mm -hmm. or like not tweezers, like, uh, pliers. Yeah. And then you st the stick your you stick the stick through like you put on one wheel, and then you stick it through the holes that are in the hole plate. Mm-hmm. And then um, they're like on the sides. There's like one on top, and then there's on sides. And then you do, and then once you have it in, you stick the other wheel on, and then you do it the same with the other side, and then it's your little slow car. Cool. Do you get to bring it home and show us? Um, I think so, but I don't know. We did it with partners and we only made one. Oh, dang. So maybe not this time, huh? So maybe, but maybe, like, my partner's, like, really nice and, like, he said he, if we do get a ticket home, he would let me take it home. So. Oh, that was nice of him. Yeah. Cool. Well, I hope we get to see it. Claire Barry, what about you? What? Did you do anything fun or exciting at school? Played Kahoot. Played Kahoot on the computers? Mm -hmm. You played Kahoot, <laughs> lucky. Lucky. Okay, so today we have a very, very busy afternoon. Carmen has a church activity here very soon, and after that, she has tumbling for the first time since COVID shut everything down. She's gonna be starting up tumbling as well. Claire went yesterday for the first time and did amazing. She still has her backflip, and all those things are gonna work um, on her continuous backflip, and then have her go into doing her back tuck. So. 
They're gonna push her really hard to get her ready because she wants to try out for the cheer team next year. So that is our goal, is to push her to be able to get her back tuck, and then she'll be able to try out. What are you laughing at? She said back with all the back hands free. Oh, sorry. Apparently I don't know my uh, tumbling terms. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, she has to learn her back foot and then her back tuck. Back handspring is what I meant. <laughs> They're definitely not the two same things. Yeah. Okay, well, sorry. She's gonna learn her back handspring. She already did. Yes, but she needs to have it to where it like is continuous. And so she can It's not just one at a time, but she needs to do multiple over and over and over again. She can do multiple over and over again. I've seen her do it. Yeah, she can. She kind of lost it a little bit when um, we quit because of COVID, but She's gonna get it back super fast. I know it. It'll all come rushing back. Same thing for you tonight when you go. Well, I just. It'll all I, come back to you. I lost like not a lot. I only lost two things, which sucks. I kind of lost like the easiest thing. I lost my meltdown. You'll get it back. Don't worry. And with I you also will be amazing. And I also lost my back walkover. I wasn't right. even good at my back walkover anyway, so. That's okay. So after tumbling, then we have to get Owen off to soccer practice and he'll be starting baseball practice here very, very soon. So spring sports are starting, tumbling is starting, and that means mom and dad just got super crazy busy. Carmen made the most adorable goals calendar while she was at her little uh, church activity today and I'm dying to have her share this with you guys. I was, I'm so cracking up over this. It's the funniest thing to me. All right, Carmen. Show us your so calendar. My goals, and it says pray, trust, hope, love, imagine, give, and dream. So okay. the things are this is what makes my mom laugh. On Sundays, I'm gonna have like Owen and Clash bought me on my back flip. <laughs> on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays, I'm gonna watch Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> on Wednesdays, I'm gonna play with my friend, and then on Thursdays, I'm gonna play with my other friend. And then on Saturdays, Claire and Owen are also gonna spot me on my back foot. And then every single night, they say pray. That's awesome. That's the best goal calendar I've ever seen. Especially the Phineas and Ferb part. I love it. <laughs> I didn't write it on every single one of these and it took me forever. And then like, right as she, like the girl said, okay, it's time to go. I was literally writing P. Oh. And I was like, I'm done. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you have fun? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I these are my markers, and I'm gonna just me and Claire will go spot on a backflip, and then we'll watch a little bit of Phineas and Ferb, and then we'll watch a little bit more Phineas and Ferb, and then I'll play with my friend tomorrow. <laughs> so you put these little stickers on each day when you actually complete your goal. Yeah. Awesome. It's a good so. way to keep track. Okay. I had to show you guys that. I thought it was super funny and super cute. She loves Phineas and Ferb. She's trying to get through all of the episodes, so she had to make it a goal to get that done. We're gonna quickly have dinner really fast, and then we gotta head to tumbling. Carmen, tell me what you're most excited about for tumbling tonight. What are you looking forward to? Um, I really wanna kind of like try and getting back into my meltdown. Yeah? And... In your back and front walkovers? I'm also hoping that like, so my cousin, she goes there too, and so I'm hoping she might be in my class. Yeah, hopefully, huh? Claire Bear's gonna come with us and be the little support system tonight. We're gonna go watch Carmen, get her tumbling on. Clay will be picking up Owen from soccer practice tonight so I can be at tumbling with the girls and um, make sure they are taken care of. Austin's out with his friends doing homework, and then he'll be home in just a little bit as well.
did so amazing at her first time back to tumbling in a really long time. I was super impressed with the amount of stuff that she remembered and the amount of stuff that her body could still do after an entire year of no tumbling, no stretching really. So she did amazing. Unfortunately, she hurt her foot today and hopefully by tomorrow it's feeling better. I don't think she broke it or anything like that. She just pulled a muscle or something, but how's your foot feeling now, Carm? It feels the same. Not feeling any better? Let me see it. Show me where you got hurt. Oh, on this foot. It doesn't really look hurt, but it's like on the bones. There used to be like a... Maybe you bruised it a little bit. It looks maybe it's like a tiny little bit bruised, maybe. It hurts to walk on it though. I think you're just using muscles that you haven't used in your feet and legs and arms in a long time. You think so? No. <laughs> but how was your first day back at tumbling? Fun. You did so awesome. Have your front and back walk over? Not the front. You were pretty close with your front walk over though. <laughs> Cartwheels, round my, offs. I can already do my front walk over. Yeah. But I just my back walk over. I just, I need to learn how to do my meltdown kick over faster. Yeah. But you'll get it. You did awesome today for your first day back. Clay is finally home from work. He ran to grab Owen for me because I could not be there. Couldn't be in two places at once tonight. So. You couldn't. <laughs> no. Oh really? <laughs> Fortunately I, not. I stepped in, got him picked up, got him home. Got here a little bit late. But today was a crazy day at work. It was a blister, if you guys can see that, and glue kind of day. I have the glue on my finger. Oh my. That's spray foam. It takes forever to like wear off. How do you get that off? I don't know, time, like two weeks. That's the only way? I don't know, you could probably use like lacquer thinner or something to get it off there, but Ugh. I had to like spray foam around these windows and then the part of the can started coming apart where like the, the nozzle is. You have to like twist that on. However, mine was like broken. So when I like pushed it down, it was squirting out the can at the top. So it got <laughs> all over my finger. And then like I had to put on these uh, hangers and you have to pound in these nails like one by one. And sure enough, got myself a nice big blister. Then Dang I had to it. pull the skin off. And then, did you, did you know, getting water in a blister hurts worse than alcohol in an open wound. Rubbing alcohol like hand sanitizer. Did you know that? I it did stinks not know that. very bad. <laughs> very painful. FYI. So, I'm gonna have to cover this bad boy up for tomorrow. Because <laughs> I could be swinging a hammer again. So. Sounds like you had a rough day. I'll be alright. <laughs> it's a little sore, but yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe I'll start using my left hand. I'm ambidextrous, you could say. There you go. Guys, thanks for commenting on our golf ball challenge video. Um, we will be spam emailing all of you for the rest of your life. <laughs> just kidding. That's a joke from like walking around the mall and like feeling out to win a car and then yeah. just get blown up for years <laughs> on end. So we will not be doing that. We don't have anyone's email. Uh, but make sure you guys take the 100 bucks and uh, blow it on yourself. Go out and do something fun, dinner, shopping. Uh, we just appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, uh, talking about goals with Carmen. My goal is to help her spell the word goal correctly. <laughs> I did say when I got home, she had it G-O-L-E-S, and it's G-O-A-L-S. It's probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> she got in the car and told me about that. Just finish some verb. She is witty as can be, but her spelling <laughs> just needs a little bit of help. Uh. And uh, you know, remember pan tree? So we're gonna work on it how it spell. sounds. Exactly, <laughs> it's easier that way, right? It's true. So, guys, thanks for watching. We love you, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow.